Welcome back to Dark Souls 3, everyone. In this episode, we're gonna... Well, try and finish the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. I <laughs> think I should be able to do it. There's only one little thing left. And again, this is not mandatory at all. We don't have to do this, but... I feel like just for completions, completions sake, I should try to get the... The boss is killed, at least. If not for both DLCs <coughs> mid-year. Yeah, I was out of stamina. So yeah, but this boss is sort of a mixed bag, as in he's shitty, as in it's just a dude and a wolf, but surprisingly he can he can get you, especially in that little sort of in-between phase where both the wolf and the dude are still alive. Yeah, that can be a problem. However, hopefully it's not gonna be. And then after that, I don't know, I'm probably gonna go to Arch Dragon Peak because me, like the idiot I am, forgot to download the Ring City and Ring City being the bigger DLC, the more interesting one too, of course takes Quite a bit more to download. Oh shit. This mechanic. How did that not kill me? You know what? I don't even care that it didn't kill me. In fact, I'm very happy. Took damage, but that worked out because normally this dude can be a bit of a bitch. And now he's pissed. Come on down here. Come on. There's another one. Where is he? Where's the other one shooting from? Oh, like way up there. <clears throat> what up, dude? It's interesting hitboxes. Never mind. What matters is we got to the bonfire, really. Nice, so we pretty much have a straight shot at the boss, but there's some shit here I want to collect. I'm surprised by how <clears throat> well Frida went. Scythe Waifu got fucked up, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hello, two crabs. Fucking giant enemy crabs fucking shit up. It's only the PlayStation that would have this type of enemy, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get messed up, aren't I? Okay, you can stop now. I said you can stop now. Alright, one giant enemy crab down. Do your little freak out. They can be frostbitten, that's what I was wondering. Holy shit, I have a lot of Estus. Well, that for a crystal gem definitely was not worth it. But it's all good. But yeah, back to the freed stuff. Then people did kind of remind me that. And I do know this. That strength builds are horribly OP in this game. Especially in PvE. So yeah, there's that. Not that it matters. I mean, I'll take an easy time any day. Especially since I'm playing Neo, where I'm not having an easy time for sure. Although even that, since respecking has gone gotten easier, not gone easier. That doesn't make sense. All right, do your little freak out. Goodbye. We get snap freeze, which is. Well, once you have a frostbite, frostbite weapon, it really doesn't matter that you have snap freeze or not. I guess you can stack them. But it's better like this, especially since this weapon applies it so easily. Overall, though, I think 
terms of how many episodes are left for this playthrough, I don't know. I think Ring City takes like four, maybe, depending on how long I make them. I'll try to shoot for like the 40 minute to an hour length videos. And then this game is done, and then Darksiders 3 and Neo will be done, and I can get on to streaming, which I'm really, really wanting to get to. Unfortunately, one thing that kind of sucks is it looks like I'm going to have a really busy February with work, as in I'm going to have to travel quite a bit. So I'll need to try and figure out some way to do the streaming as well, and also, you know... You know, because what I don't want to have happen is I'm, you know, I'll make the big announcement. Hey, guys, from next week, I'm going to be streaming. You know, we'll do the Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, whatever schedule. And then immediately I'm going to have to, like, skip two weeks because I'll be off. And then, like I said, I'm just traveling a lot. So that's what I don't want to happen. So... I don't know, but, you know, it's also going to depend on how much time these games are going to take up. So, yeah, that was... That was that. Let's go to the bonfire. Well, did I rest at this bonfire? That's a question. It's unlocked anyways, so... It's not an issue, just still. Although I could do... I've been thinking of doing some IRL streams as well, when I can. I mean... Hotels do have decent internet, so could do that as well. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's not even certain that I'm going to be going, but it's pretty likely. Okay, thank you. So without getting too crabby, because there is a shit ton of crabs here. Let's get going. To be fair, they have gotten better at modeling ice. Um, giant ice dildos slash unicorn horns, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, one thing, other thing to mention is we've been getting some more. I'll finish my thought after I'm done here. This thing has an insane hitbox. You see, I was nowhere near close to. Oh, shit. This dude staggers easily. Is he screwed or is he screwed? He's screwed. He's extremely screwed. Don't think about running away. Oh, that wolf is pissed as hell. <laughs> I've never noticed like how angry he looks. Dude is still alive. This wolf fucked me up though. Uh, when I was going up against him. Couldn't get the hang of his moves. Can you? Game? Thank you. He does like fake outs and shit. Oh, hello. Yeah, because my weapon kept missing him. Oh, god damn it. Nice, Sue. He staggered him, but whatever. This is Berserk Wolf now. Oh fuck. Yeah, that was... That would have been death if that hit. Alright, cool. That was an incredibly easy bo uh, boss. I almost said incredibly easy bone because the champion bone popped up. Alright. Thanks, game. Yeah, I mean... To be fair when you think about it, this DLC... I completely understand the criticism for it. And I have my fair share of criticism as well, because they charge the same price for this 
and the Ringed City. And this game has, I mean, this DLC has two bosses. One of them, I mean, you didn't exactly have to be a genius to come up with this boss fight. It's basically an NPC with a unique weapon and a Sif. Sif without the sword, so, you know. I mean, I get what they were going for, for but still, it's more of like a as side boss as you can ever get. So, yeah, in terms of that, now that we're done, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the, what you call it, <laughs> completely blanking on the name. Arch Dragon Peak, hey, we got it, we got there, we got there in the end. Yuria, do you have any other new dialogue? That is a hard nyet. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck was that? Was it Facebook? Probably. Not much of a Facebook user. I do have one, but... Not exactly a fan of the platform. If I'm gonna be honest with you. What do you sell? Actually, I haven't looked in quite a bit. Wait, you can get Sister Freed stuff? I didn't even know that. Whatever. So I think what we're gonna do is... Head back to Erythiel Dungeon. This is the path to take. Wait, is it easier to go back from... See, now I'm blanking on where exactly the dragon is. I think it is easier to go to the profane capital one. I'm still drawing a blank. So anyways, what I was gonna say is, before the whole boss fight spiel, is Sekiro. We're getting more details of Sekiro and I'm gonna be honest, I like what we're seeing. It's kind of what I exactly wanted because to be fair, as much as I love the Souls games, uh, at this point we've had so many of them. I cannot believe you lived. What an asshole of an enemy. What is that little Estus symbol? That's what I'm wondering. Because it doesn't activate when they get the health drain, so... Yeah, whatever. There it is. Is that the one you unlock? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's exactly what I wanted, because... It's finally changing up the formula, and I'm really excited. One thing I'm kind of worried about, probably the only thing I'm worried about regarding Sekiro, and that's going to be... Am I going? Yes. Okay, I'm going the right way. And it's going to be a replayability. I'm hoping there is some way to... Have like different builds, or, you know, have like a different experience, which I'm hoping that you could go like balls to the walls offense or you could go stealth or something like that just to you know have differing gameplay styles between each playthrough but you know there's gonna be no like no ultimate sorcerer guides and no shit like that for Sekiro because the game has a very different approach and again I don't really mind that to be honest yeah, the other bonfire would have been closer. Oh well. Now all they need to do is make a armored core game, a new one. And I'm gonna be a happy, happy camper. Speaking of games that make me happy, not like that. I don't play visual novels. Because those make certain people happy. Uh, we got a lot of details on MK, MK11, yesterday. 
I'm most likely gonna make a separate video on the topic, but I'm intrigued currently. I I would say my stance right now is optimistic, but would like more information on a couple of things. One of the things I'm worried about, but apparently my fears are not... Which one is it? There it is. Substantiated. Uh, we saw a lot of zoning and the zoning we saw in MK11 yesterday was the injustice type zoning where it's just like projectile, 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 spam, 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 you know. I'm worried because some people enjoyed the direction injustice took being more slow but it was way too, way too zoning and I'm someone who doesn't mind zoning. I completely get that it's a 100% viable strategy for a fighting game. <laughs> but still, you know, I don't want every game to be just two people standing at the opposite end throwing projectiles at each other. But apparently, again, people say that uh, it's because most of the players got like, they got like two hours with the game. So, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. Other than that, game looks good. Um, the other main thing I'm worried about, well, not worried about, but it's kind of shitty, is the animation. I still cannot believe that since MK9 has released, uh, NRS has not managed to improve their animations. The graphics have got, the graphics are great, probably the best looking fighting game out there, uh, just because of the budget. The character models look great, the effects, the stages and all that, but the animations, man, they look like, there's some great videos on it, on why... MK games feel like they feel extremely stiff uh, if you look at versus something like Street Fighter or Tekken or something so that's kind of something that I thought they would improve but again other than that the game looks fantastic uh, Sonya Rousey is in the game which is well I'll talk about that later as in Ronda Rousey is voicing and mocapping Sonya so we'll see, we'll see, but again, I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing so far in terms of the direction the game is taking. And of course, I think someone in my comments in the last MK video I did mentioned that they really want Scarlet. And of course, Scarlet is in. Which, you know, is always kind of neutral to the character, but... Hey, if makes other people happy, I'm down with it. Pretty much the whole thing of MK, you know. The characters. That's why people love MK, because they have such a huge roster of, you know, legacy characters that people really remember fondly. So, you know... The smart move, oh shit, smart move for NRS to realize that it's their biggest asset. One thing I don't know is what's gonna happen to, you know, the combat kids, as in all of the new characters that were introduced in uh, MKX, because some of those characters I really like, for example, Kodo Khan. Devora, those characters need to make a return. The other four, you know, Cassie Cage, but there, there was, of course, Ferator, who... Ferator I would love to see return, but it is extremely likely that they will not return, because, to my knowledge, nobody liked Ferator, aside from very few people, including me. Which made it even weirder when NRS decided to nerf them. But no matter, no matter, that was just a thing. So yeah, the combat kids, I don't know. Kunjin I could do without. Or, you know, people have said that. I completely agree. If you're gonna have Kunjin, get rid of the weird like... <clears throat> that was the stupidest thing I've done. I really thought there was floor under there. That's why I jumped. That was the most confident jump ever into the bottomless abyss. 
<clears throat> nice. Well done, me. So yeah, Kung Jin, I would want to have back if they make him just like a straight up bow and arrow character because uh, that bow and arrow variation, ancestral, that was his most interesting one, and of course the shittiest one as well. But you know the Shaolin stuff, yeah, and the Bojutsu stuff. It just took away from. I feel like the character, which who is supposed to be an archer. But other than that, you can. I don't know, Cassie Cage maybe. I'd like to have back. Takeda was a little bit too edgy for me. Too much of an edge lord, and Jackie Briggs. I like Jackie Briggs, but. She she's in the Ferrator situation where she ain't exactly the most interesting character in the world. Even though I really liked Jackie. Kind of the simple military aesthetic. But yeah, of course, Sonya. You gotta have Sonya. Like, you can't have an MK game without Sonya. I think 100% Melina and Katana are gonna be back. Maybe even Jade. Yeah, it's gonna be good. The custom variation system looks interesting. Very interesting as an idea. Because that's one of that that was one of the things always with the variations, you know. Sometimes I looked at them and I was like, "Oh man, if I could swap out." I was like, I really like this variation, but I would like it even more if I could swap out this shitty move. For this other non shitty move. So, yeah. It's good. And based on what we saw yesterday in terms of the story, it's not 100% unlikely that Shinnok will be excluded. Because, you know, I'm a Shinnok main. I would love to have Shinnok back. And there's a chance. Before, I thought there was no way, uh, because Shinnok was the main antagonist, you know, they're not gonna bring him back in the next game, they're gonna have Shao Kahn and all that. But you know, who knows, with the time travel stuff, I, this, yeah, this dude with the fucking dual daggers, oh there's two! Why is there two of you? Fuck off. Man, the music is crazy in this boss fight for, like, how unepic this fight is. Man, this is the episode of shitty Dark Souls 3 bosses, right? Because <laughs> we fought the... We fought the fucking... Wolf and dude. And now it's time for this dragon. Vyvern. I know, not the same thing, not the same thing. <clears throat> I missed this dude quite a few times on <laughs> my first try. I was like, you gotta be fucking shitting me. You know what? Eat shit, dragon. 7,000. <laughs> Yeah, he has a ton of HP. I think I've, I've seen people kill it. <clears throat> Some crazy idiots kill it with, you know, just like normal combat. Which is absolutely insane. And we get teleported. I don't even remember where this takes you. It just teleport me to the boss. I don't know if I'll fight the Nameless King. Depending on how, on how I'm feeling, I guess, when I get to him. it's I, I like that boss, but, you know, 
I'm also kind of, as you can see, I'm kind of pushing to get this game done. Not that I'm not because I'm bored of it or anything like that, but because I've started kind of planning out what I'm gonna be streaming. So, yeah. We're touching the darkness inside the waifu. Could go for more strength, but I'm yeah, at this point I'm getting very, very high diminishing returns. So, you know, as basic as it is, uh, we'll get Vitality up. Wear some, wear some Doinker armor, maybe. But who knows. So yeah, I've kind of started planning out what games I'm gonna be streaming. Oh yeah, speaking of streaming, I am streaming tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna play some Smash Ultimate, I think. I finally got a LAN adapter for my Switch. So the connections are like way, way better. So I'm gonna do a little stream tomorrow. Same time as always. Oh man, that was a hiccup. Maybe not gonna go for the full two hours, but hour and a, I don't know, depending on how things go, things go. And now I for sure know that if a connection is shitty in Smash, it's not my fault. Unfortunately, those still happen kind of often. Yeah, the net code is that game's weakness, unfortunately, because there's so many eight-year-olds playing on their mom's Wi-Fi. Ouch. That I wasn't expecting. Okay, yes, have a little bit more stamina, please. These guys fucked me up in Dark Souls 2. It's good to get revenge, you know. So yeah, uh, be prepared for Smash tomorrow. Let's Smash and yeah, see you guys there, hopefully. I'll make like a community post as well about it. <clears throat> Even though, you know, setting that stupid LAN adapter up on your Switch is kind of a pain in the ass. But once I got it working, it's been all good since then. Where the hell does this lead? Oh, this is the one that leads back down, yeah. Right here. So if you want to pick up the shit you missed from... This is the second time I've almost jumped off. Not almost. The first time I did actually jump off. Right. Look at this pro gameplay. You know it. You only get pro gameplay with me. I wanna come back here because there is some stuff you can get here. As far as I know. Is there even anything here? I don't think I've ever checked back. There seems to be some doing treasure lying around. Yeah, this one. This weird bell. Which I should really be able to ring if I wanted to. Yeah, but it... It has no collision box. Alright. At least I'll know for next time if this is worth... Oh, well, it's not. Two embers, shit, and a soul. So, yeah, I think... Should I warp or should I just... Nah, I'll warp. Yeah, for sure not worth... Did we just pick up the dragon's shit? Is that what it is? He's a nasty motherfucker. Although, yeah, what's it with souls likes and collecting shit? Because... Uh, Witcher dude 
does it as well. Sir Angie, and that's all I can remember. What's it? William. William. I almost said Gerald, but it's basically the same person, aren't they? Gerald and William. They look extremely similar. So, yeah. That's the deal with Witcher dude. Slash Neo dude. Everybody is a shit collector. If you're a Souls game protagonist. But yeah, Sekiro looks... Back to Sekiro, you know. <laughs> looks fucking good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, this dude, this dude deals a lot of damage. Some people may be disappointed by the non... The lack of RPG elements, but... Again, I'm not going to mind, really. Because... Now that so many other studios are aping the Souls formula... It's good for FromSoft, I think, to switch to something new, but also familiar. And you know, they said, they specifically said that they are not abandoning the <clears throat> this type of classic game formula. They're just also gonna have other games, which... Oh! Well, that was stupid of me. Man, I'm bad at navigating this place. I genuinely... I have kind of forgotten where the fuck we're supposed to go. Oh, that's how it links together. Oh, there we go. That's the one. But because I'm afraid of this phantom motherfucker chasing me... Have I gotten hit by every single one of those? Yes, I have. Actually, I don't know what their aggro range is. Doesn't look infinite. More like winfinite. That was a stupid joke. Oh, I've been here already. The boy legit don't know. Slash don't remember. There it is. There it is. Never mind, disaster averted. <laughs> That's so ridiculous looking. It's like a slinky when you extend it. I've missed every single one of my jumping attacks, I think, or a large percentage. Isn't there a big dude here? I'm fairly sure, maybe I'm thinking ahead. Oh, there you are. Sick. That was a stupid, that was a stupid, stupid heal. Yeah, you just come back here. What the hell is that? Whoa, okay. Shit is going crazy. This dagger dude, I swear. Alright. You need to die. Imagine if he didn't die. I would have been... Well done, very screwed because... I think my HP at this point could be described as robust. As in, I can survive a lot of hits. Don't need to be dodge perfect on everything. Which is good because it allows me to, you know, just chill out a little. I'm pretty sure there's an easy way, easier way of getting that as well, but not 100%. Oh yeah, and they really overload you with Titanite scales in this area. And... 
I'm not complaining. If we ever need to upgrade another weapon. Which it currently doesn't look like we need to. People have asked me to use Leto's Great Hammer. Or Lido's Great Hammer, whatever it's called. But... I don't know, I don't like the look of that weapon. <laughs> what up, Wyvern? Don't, don't mind me, I'm just gonna... Oh, shit. Bonewheel Lizards. That's what these guys are called. What a clusterfuck of an area. No. They're like those stupid ice rat enemies from Dark Souls. Except they... Two, I mean. Dark Souls 2. Except they knock down, which is even worse. Nobody likes knockdowns. Very sturdy as well. Oh, they, man, they are good at steering. And I could probably block them, but... Oh well. Yeah, and also this is the... These dudes are by far the best farming spot for... Thank you for giving me Havel. Which is strange because normal Havel is also here in this area. So we have some dual Havel action going on. It's what all the ladies want. Dual Havel action. Oh yeah, broke your guard, bitch. And I frostbit you too. Damn, he breaks easily. Yeah, because this is not real Havel, this is just bitch summoned Havel. What is he? Oh. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, you basically gotta wait for that to wear off. Yeah, you don't wanna... You don't wanna tussle with him. I think this guy, I mean, Havel is by far the hardest thing they can summon. But that frostbite was very handy. Get some Estus, but no souls, of course. Alright. That actually works out perfectly time-wise as well. Uh, next episode we will see whether I go back to the Ringed City or I finish up here. I think I will finish up, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. So for now, thank you guys... <clears throat> I fucked up my own outro. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.